ho, 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 come on. If you can't grow up and be mature like your brothers over here, that's it. We're done. You got five minutes. I got, I got places to be, man. It's getting dark. We got to go on a journey today. I can't be waiting around here for you fools all day. These guys are all good. They're, they're ready to go. Grow. Grow faster. Keep growing. Ah, well, I gave them a chance, guys. As much as this pains me to do it, they're just not growing. I think they're out of nutrients. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's bone dry. I think that's what happened. These ones, they still had some left, and that's why they were able to mature. Although the peppers... I said that weird. Peppers! <laughs> The peppers, they are bone dry as well, and, and this one turned red, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, but yeah, uh, welcome back everybody to some more Terraforma Craft. Get our carrots. This is the last harvest before the winter. Not all the cabbage made it either. Uh, and we just want to collect the seeds and stuff from our farmland before uh, we go exploring today. Because it's going to be winter and we want to get whatever wild crops are growing. And if we wait too long, it's going to freeze and then we will lose everything. Um, so. Oh. oh. Look at that. There's green peppers too. Oh, I didn't know that. Green bell pepper. So if you, if you pick them before they're fully ripened, they're green. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. All right, so it's not a total waste. <laughs> uh, let me uh, finish up here. I made a bunch of these vessels, empty vessels, so we'll be able to carry lots of stuff today. Um, and I'm just making final preparations before we take off here. I got a, a barrel full of water ready, and everything around here seems to be in good order, so we should be able to go any moment now. But before we go on our adventure, everyone, there is one more thing we need to do. We got to think about our food. We won't get very far on empty bellies, will we? So it's time once again for another episode of Cooking with Etho. Woohoo! <laughs> Highest rated show on our network. Thanks to your support. All right, guys. So today on Cooking with Etho, of course, we own. I keep saying, of course. <laughs> we only use the freshest ingredients just picked from our, our garden. Um, and today we will be making, with all these beautiful vegetables, the perfect steak. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. This steak, a little past its prime, maybe six, seven, maybe eight months old. It's true. It's been a while since... Uh, we cut sirloin into pieces, or before he was crushed into pieces. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Um, but best before dates, that term, I think, is open to interpretation, honestly. Because this meat is not going to be its at its best until I prepare it. Obviously, after I cook it with my special touch, that's when it's at its best. Okay, so best before dates hasn't happened yet. Perfectly safe to eat. All right? Now that we got that out of the way, to make the perfect steak, uh, first first thing you got to do, of course, is uh, prepare it with uh, freshly ground salt. All right, just add a pinch of salt to it. it really enhances the flavor and helps to draw out the moisture or something. You got to work it in there. Um, if uh, if you're limited on counter space in your kitchen, of course, look at all this. We got the floor wide open. Perfect, perfect thing. Nice, nice hard floor to work on. Uh, if you don't have pepper, black pepper, you might want to try some, some bell peppers. It's pretty much the same thing. Throw that on the steak, work it in, and now we're ready to cook it. So, uh, <laughs> if you don't have cast iron pans, wood bowls pretty much do the same thing. Uh, heat up some virgin olive oil. Uh, it won't burn on you. Get it nice and hot. We're going to sear the steak. And, uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> you get the idea. Uh, let's pretend I, I cooked the steak. I don't have a stove, you see. <laughs> so 
So we cooked the steak. All is good. Uh, now we have to add our toppings. It, it came out perfectly too, I gotta say. So I think we should try... Well, I guess this is the specialty of the day. Green bell peppers. And since we don't have black pepper, it's almost a must. We'll add that on and we want... Carrots. Carrots go excellent with steak, right? There we go. And as a little sweet aftertaste, a little pleasant uh, punch of, of flavor, we are going to add some blackberries to the mix. All right, here we go. Let us create our most masterful creation on cooking with Etho. Oh, look at that. L looks beautiful. Turned out perfect and tastes wonderful. Uh, we will make a bunch of that. Delicious. Oh. Let's try some of this out. Oh my goodness, the the flavors, the freshness. That is how that is how you make steak. All right, we got our food. Let's go on our journey. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I was all ready to go, and then it started raining. Uh, we'll have to wait another day, I think. Uh, I realized though, the pit our pit is about to break, so we should make a new one. I'm going to try make an iron pick now that we have iron because um, we'll probably do a little bit of mining on the on the way so hopefully I can do this <laughs> let's let's start heating it up it'll take a while okay it's ready to go here and I'm cooking up the iron bloom we made at the end of the last episode too uh, we'll probably have to make a hammer soon too maybe with that iron Oh. Uh oh. Oh, do we need. We might. Oh, I can't do it. We need an iron anvil. Darn it. <laughs> I don't have any bismuth around anymore. I just have to make up a batch of that. Uh, because we do not have enough iron to make an iron anvil, I don't think. Uh, okay, so we do have enough iron, actually. I counted it. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to attempt to make an iron anvil and an iron pick before we leave. I'm going to do most of it off camera though because it's going to take a long time. Uh, but we, we got to get this going quick. So let's uh, do up another batch of iron. The 24. Drop it in. And then we need 24 charcoal. Or do we? Ah. Oops. Oh, did it not take it all? That's weird. Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm trapped. Oh no. I'm trapped in I'm trapped in the forge. It won't let me jump. Can I break this? Is it gonna wreck my Ah, I wrecked it, I think. Are you kidding me? Can I get out of here? No. Oh, what a waste. I think I just destroyed a ton of stuff. Or I might not be able to break this. Am I trapped? <laughs> oh, no. I can't break the walls. I think I'm trapped, guys. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, so let's have a little talk to everybody, a little one-on-one -on -one time here. I am completely and utterly trapped. I have tried anything I can think of. I've tried placing torches, ladders, I've tried breaking it with all my tools. I've tried picking at it for a long time thinking maybe there's 24 layers. I don't think there is. Um, so I'm pretty much doomed. <laughs> I can't get out, guys. So I have no option but to uh, starve to death or, or run out of water. One, one or the other. <sighs> I can't believe it. This is not how I thought I would go the second time. This is not 
it's not right. I've tried like jumping at the same time that it breaks, hoping that would do it, but I haven't managed to free myself doing that either. <sighs> well, this is the end. Don't listen to Etho 3. He's a jerk. He w he won't ever be as good as me. And there it is. <laughs> oh, man. Can't believe it. Alright, hopefully we can recover our gear. I'm going to be extra sad. Should be there. I tried to put as much stuff into the vessels as I could have, so it would be easier to collect. Yeah, okay. Most of it's here, it looks like. And... Got our pick... Pants, boots, chest piece, very good. We are missing a bunch of tools. They're probably on the ground out here somewhere. Or on the roof. I don't see them out here. Oh, there's my sword. I can't believe I died like that. <laughs> Uh, it might be fixed in a new version. I don't know if that's an issue that's that's known. It's kind of a very uh, obscure and unusual way to die. That probably hasn't happened to many people. <laughs> but if you try to fill the f the bloomery while you're in the chimney, not the best idea. It turns out. Um, let's check in here. Oh, this is all charcoal. Good. Check the roof. What am I missing? I need my shovel yet. There's probably a bunch of stuff on the roof. Oh yeah, here it is. Good, very good. So I just did a double check and we recovered everything we had, I'm pretty sure. I have nine vessels uh, like I did before. So it like scattered everywhere. Some of it was down at the bottom of the cliff here and yeah. <laughs> anyway. Let's make sure this thing still works. There it is. So we'll light it. I'm going to still attempt to make the anvil before we go. This has to be closed. I've learned that already. All right, it's going. Oh, the hammer broke. <laughs> it's like, why is it not working anymore? There we go. Four hundred percent. That's not enough. And it is now October the third. Time is running out quickly here, but I'm almost ready to go. <laughs> uh, we have seven double ingots now, which means we can make. That's right. The anvil, the iron anvil. Oh, baby. Let's get this piece of junk out of here. Oh, man. Oh, that looks cool. Sweet. <laughs> so now we should be able to make our iron pick. Put that in. Yeah, okay. We can select our plans. Pickaxe. Oh, I can't believe it. We are finally ready to go. <laughs> we had some setbacks, but our journey begins now. Not sure how long we're going to go adventuring for, but uh, probably at least till the end of this episode, and maybe we will start the next episode in the middle of our adventure too. Um, but I think we're going to go out this way. We're going to take the ocean as far as it'll take us. Well, it will take us as far as it will take us take us no wait anyway <laughs> I uh, I'm not gonna dwell on what I just said there uh, hopefully we don't hit ice or anything like that we are heading south I believe is this south does it sit, tell us south yes we're heading towards the equator you see the Z coordinate the negative 12,000 the closer you get to zero 
the warmer the climate gets and there's usually from what I've heard there's fruit trees and stuff to, if you get close enough to the equator so we're in a pretty cold area here there's some random icebergs for some reason uh, I'm gonna keep sailing until we hit some land though and uh, I'll bring you back then okay here we go here we go I think this is worth getting off at uh, we've traveled about 1500 blocks and you can see the temperature is going up as we're moving this way which is kinda cool very little uh, but it is increasing and uh, let's go check this out it's almost night time unfortunately <laughs> it's kinda bad timing alright then so we have a giant ravine what kind of rock? Oh, it's caving in. I think this is diorite, isn't it? Hmm. Let's go look around a little bit. I think I saw some pigs. Uh, let's check the block type, though. This is pretty important. I'm looking for some specific stuff on our journey. This is a good sign. We want this. Let's get out our prospector pick. I can't remember if it was graphite or colonite or something <laughs> I'm looking for those two things and it's found in this type of rock so that's a good sign uh, we might find something cool oh hey all right more pheasants I haven't seen chickens or sheep yet those are the big ones especially sheep oh we got some berry bushes let's grab these these are always good and we are, of course, looking for uh, different types of crops that we haven't gotten yet, uh, especially wheat. We need different types of wheat. Berries, blackberries. We have these already. Oh, some of them are ready. Cool. Um, <laughs> take a little survey here. Looks like, oh, what's this? This is another type of rock. Uh, we want to be in here, I think. I think this is the skits stuff, or how do you say it? No, oh, maybe not. This might be... Wait, what kind of rock is this? Oh, it is this. Okay. Same stuff. Uh, we just passed a copper deposit, though. Maybe we should check this. Nope, nothing of interest. It's too far down underground for us to care. All right, so I did find some copper. Uh, I'm going to dig down. It's nighttime. I don't really want to run around at night. Can't see anything anyway. So we will dig down. We will get our coppers. First time trying out our new pick, too. I think it's going to I think it's supposed to be slightly quicker. Yeah, it seems maybe a little bit quicker. All right, let me look for this stuff. It should be Pretty close, I would say. Oh, here we go. We got some. What type of quality is it going to be? Da, 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 da. Normal. Okay, that's good. Okay, guys. This pick. This pick is awesome. It is so much quicker. <laughs> After mining all night here, I definitely noticed the difference. I'm just going to grab one more piece, and then we're going to be on our way. Even though there's a lot here, it's this we could spend forever here. We ended up getting two vessels full, which is quite a bit. So let's get on going. Do some exploring. I think it's daytime. Let's just double check. Yeah, just turn day. Oh, <laughs> and there is a spider out there waiting to greet us. Friendly? Friendly. Doing the, the peace sign. Oh, I should check for creepers. <laughs> that would have been that would have been bad. Alright, we're going south. We want to go south, right? Yeah. Let's keep going. And let's uh, keep prospecting as we go. Because we you never know what we'll find. This is a exotic area with all sorts of unseen and unbelievable things hidden within it like like what are these things these things are crazy they move and they no. and they move 
Mm. Got some cows here. Mm. Oh, some hematite over here. We got lots of hematite at our place, so we don't need to get more here. Uh, this looks pretty barren, this area. Not a lot of ores around either. Okay, let's head towards this. This looks like there's actually some life here. Oh, what's this? Hot springs. And... Hmm... Oh, sphalerite. Medium. Large. Large. Got some more pigs around here. Yeah. Okay. We got lots of sphalerite. I'm looking for things like minerals that we haven't seen before. Graphite. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. Is that it? Did we find it already? This is what we want, guys. This is it. This is one of the things we came for. I can't believe we found it. That was actually pretty easy. Ladder drop. Ladder drop. Oh, yeah, like a pro. Okay. We can grab this. I think this is graphite. Yeah. So it doesn't have a, an amount to it or anything. It's just... It's just graphite. So we need this to make our a crucible. And I think you need a crucible to make the next tier of metal. Not that we're really pushing to do that, but uh from what I've heard this thing, this stuff can be quite the pain to find. So <laughs> I'm glad we found it already. Um pretty early on. Let's explore our ravine here too. I'll probably Hey. <coughs> I'll mine it out uh, off camera here. Alright, dead ends. Is there any other goodies around here? Sphalerites. That's probably the sample we picked up earlier. Um, no cave system? Is there a cave system? Oh wow, it goes down a long ways here. Oh, native gold! I've never found gold before. That's kind of cool. I might try to look for that, actually. What type of rock is this? Is it andesite? Oh, gabbro. Gabbro? Is that how you say it? We have lots of that. <laughs> and that is the dead end. You see that above us? That's all dirt. So at any time, I think this can cave in on us. <laughs> Whatever it decides to, it's like, yeah, there's there's nothing supporting it. I was mining and I fell down the hole <laughs> into the hot springs here, thankfully. Um, I might wrap up the episode here, actually, guys. I got to do a bunch of mining. Haven't located the gold yet, but I do see there's one of these. I guess there are springs, right? There's like a column of water like we found before. And I'm guessing that goes down really far, which might be worth checking out. Um, but yeah, haven't found the gold yet going to spend some time here and then next episode we will continue on our adventure uh, after I finish collecting things and I will see you again then but of course I recorded one more thing uh, back when we were at our cabin still <laughs> so we'll end the episode with that bye bye well there's not really much to be said about Etho 2 he didn't uh he didn't care for me too much, and he made it known. So I'm not going to give him a good funeral. But uh, short and sweet, I guess. On his short time on this earth, he made a name for himself. He was known as the world's greatest chef. But ironically, he died by starving to death because he refused to eat his own cooking. Rest in peace, our dear chef. Etho number two.